what's going on guys welcome to another video and for today's episode it's a very simple but rather interesting one is on how can we extract the first and last date on that particular month so this is actually coming from a question from Farida and question is how do I know the dates for the beginning and end dates for that particular month? Example, if I put a certain date, it will extract the beginning and end dates automatically. I need this for my PDF report. Okay, Farida, and for the rest of you as well, uh, this is going to be a very simple tutorial. It won't take long. I guess I have seen, so I, I got some ideas on how to do it. And with that being said, without further ado, let's check it out. Okay guys, so to start off our video, the usual data structure explanation. So I have a very simple setup for our tutorial. I have the transaction table and I have the uh, respective columns. First of all, the unique ID, the task, the details, the date, the EM date stands for the early month date and the end of month date. Uh, you can actually use this either in virtual column, but since the requirement I foresee is just normal column, therefore I'm not using virtual column. Now moving on to the app itself in transaction table. For both EM date and EO date, end of month and early month date, I am using the following expression. Now, just a quick explanation as to why we have the minus one and plus one. So EO month, uh, basically, the function of EO month is to calculate the last day of a month that is specified to the given date. So I'm using the date column here. So it's extracting the end of month date. So the minus one finds the last day of the previous month. Okay. Let's say in March for this year, the end of month for the month of March will extract the 28th of February if I put minus 1 and when I add another one it moves the result to the first day of the current month since I'm in March then it will extract the first date of March 2025 okay so for end of date or end of month date the zero here finds the last day of the month in which the month of the date itself. Okay. So this is very quite straightforward and simple. Now with that being said, let's give this a try. So if I were to add a new transaction, let's say post daily videos in YouTube. 30 days 30 videos. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. So now, here's the explanation. So by default, it will take the date of today. So you can see the early month date is the 1st of March. And the end of month date is 31st of March. Now, however, if we were to switch this to a different month, say, for example, February. And for 2025, we have 28 days in February. Now, let's just pick a random date, which is 13. It will then switch to the month of February, which is the 1st of February. And the end of month date is 28th of February. So, more or less, this is how you can actually extract the earliest date of that month and the final date of the month itself. And I hope this helps. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to drop 
uh, a like and comment if you find this video useful and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't so that you may find more contents like this in the future i'm aris azaha thank you very much for your time and i hope to see you guys in the next video and so take care bye bye